Yes. Yes, <clears throat> and yes, indeed. We are the Wake Movement. We are alive. We are going through all the stories. We are touching upon current events. We are bringing the macrocosm down to the microcosm. Because we are not afraid. Because they haven't banned me. Like, legitimately. They just sent me to a corner for a perpetual timeout. So, I would like to take this time to thank you for being on board with Wake Movement. Why? Because we're trying to wake up our consciousness. And this is such a great thing to do. You know what's the first part to waking up? It's to realize that we are asleep, my friends. I like to think that I'm so freaking awake. It's, I'm so based. It used to be woke until the left totally s took that away. When wokeism first started, it was like, you're woke. That means you're like awakened to what's going on. Now being woke is being overly sensitive to pronouns and sickness, psychological sickness. So we have, <clears throat> we, I start with um, either CNN and I go from CNN to Fox. The, the every is not partial. If you can see beyond and see who are the greater hands that weld, wield the power, you'll see that the left and the right, whenever they come to a bipartisan agreement upon something, that's where we should uh, want to uh, be privy to. They try to sell me more hats. Because this hat is so fresh. I should do weight move. I'm going to do weight movement hats. You know, I, I put more energy into the Aquarian than the wake movement. But I have a lot more followers. I hate the word followers. Fellow leaders on wake movement. And that the logo's lit. So Biden's visit delivers a stark rebuke to Putin. Putin and Zelensky. What? What? I like when people say white. White. What? Do Putin and Zelensky have in common? Ooh, I haven't even read Habaz Long Faustian dog. At Bohemian Grove, they do like a whole Faustian uh, regurgitation of some uh, text, which is like dark as shit, as they sacrifice uh, their consciousness as, as a cremation of care ritual. Think that's not a thing? Let's look that up. Cremation of care. The cremation of care is an annual ritual of production written, produced, and performed by and for members of the Bohemian Club. <laughs> I think that's a fucking... Oh my god. My friends. I mean, we just saw with uh, Rihanna and her satanic uh, and Sam Smith their satanic uh, symbology. What is that? Who created the the devil? Rihanna Illuminati. They're not 
the Illuminati or the Illuminate, it's like a Masonic sect. It's a real thing. Started by Adam Weishaupt during uh, the um, Protestant Reformation. Illuminate. I'm a little bit all over the place. Wiki. Adam Weiss. I don't know how to spell it. Weiss. Adam Weiss hopped. And guess where his... Was he just straight up German? No. He... No, they didn't say where that he was actually from the Jesuits. Foundation of the Illuminati. In 1776, right when our country was founded. It means to be illumined, enlightened, a Masonic thing. And, uh... Thomas Jefferson wrote in a letter to James Madison that Barul's own parts of the book are perfectly the ravings of a Bedlamite. Bethlehem Royal Hospital, St. Mary Beth Bedlam, a psychiatric hospital in London uh, under the name of Bet is home in Hebrew. La Lahem. Lahim, the house of the name. The words Bedlam, meaning uproar and confusion, is derived from the hospital's nickname. Wow. The Lady of Bethlehem, Be'et Lahem, also means like the House of the Bread. Relating to the House of Virgo. And right now we are in the opposite sign of Virgo, which is the fish, as opposed to the loaves of wheat, because in the sign of uh, Virgo, we have the virgin holding the sheaf of wheat. It is like psychiatric wards. This month of Pisces is... It's you going through... It could be a nightmare. It could be a dream. It could be a delusion. It could be a mystical experience. There's a very thin line between a spirituality and psychosis. That line is met, is addressed in the last house of the zodiac, of the unknown, of the no thingness, ultimately of our soul, which is not a thing, and therefore is not susceptible to death. Corruption, even t that. that's actually a little bit of, of a secret that I don't like to give out because then people, the dark occult, use that like, okay, yeah, so the, I have a part of me that can't be uh, killed, that can't be sullied. So I could do, so they use that as an excuse, as a hall pass to fucking do some dirty fucking shit. Okay, so, well, first of all, Biden did a, a real fucking, s wasn't honest. Oh, imagine that. He said that he was doing a trip to Poland, but no, he, he did a fucking detour to Kiev. There is just an example of how your government lies to you. They were not honest. You can see why perhaps they did that. It was not to justify our government, our elected leaders, willing lying to us. I have these other tabs pulled up and I will revivify, revivify them and revisit them. Let's go to our live stream and see if we have anybody in the chat. Oh, we got dormant uns. Consciousness. Yeah, I've been trying to use the word consciousness. Is God, God, goat. God is from a German word. Goat, G-O-T-T. -T. Dormant uns, my dear friend, has taken on that saying, which was a battle cry into war. Which was originally Gott mit uns. Gott 
G-O-T-T, which I believe got turned into God, G-O-D. Mit, with, just turn the M upside down, which I did with my wake movement assemblage. Uns, take out the N, us. So, door mit uns is door with us. God with us is Gott mit uns, God with uns. And the horse says, I am correct in that. <laughs> Say him out first. Pony rad. So here, my friend, ear is uh, out. And no one's even talking about the fact that our president lied to us in the White House. Saying that Biden was just going to Poland. And he didn't. He went to Ukraine. And the headlines say that there was um, Biden visit Ukraine amidst air raid sirens in the background. Was there an air raid? No. Did they intentionally put those sirens in the background uh, for dramatic effect for theater? Because most of this is theater. If we don't recognize that, then you're just a f governor. Governor Ron DeSantis criticizes U.S. involvement in Ukraine war. Zam and Trump came out recently on the attack heavily against DeSantis. DeSantimonious. P.S. I live in Florida. And you're not allowed to protest um, the genocide of Palestinians by the apartheid state of Israel. Because they, and you can't be critical of that at all. Or even touch on it or report on it in Florida. In my state. Where you will be, especially not on college campuses. Which I'm going to take over. Wake movement. The Aquarian... TV, the Aquarian movement, we need to get on college campuses. Uh, the kids are all into astrology. There's an, an introduction to showing them how uh, this religion, Christianity, Judaism, Islam, based on astral myth, not historical. And then it was created for propagandical purposes. Why? To subvert, to deceive, through deception, they gain victory. The very motto of the Mossad. Nearly 22,000 Russians have tried to enter the U.S. since Putin's war draft. Dog, Ukraine is grabbing people and making... What? So, that's why... It's, what if, what if Putin and Zelensky were actually in coots to what? What are they doing? They're wiping out their own people. What did... Thousands of mm, you know who's not going to the front lines of this? Yeah, and, and so I don't get banned. I can't even talk about it. That's what we should be weary of is the shit we can't talk about. After centuries of a Tsarist, look how they took out the Tsarist regime. Not saying that the, the royals had a, were doing great, but that whole taking out of them, which were actually Christian 
and the Bolshevik Revolution that they didn't teach us shit in school about. I know shit about the Bolshevik Revolution. Genocide. After centuries of czarist and Soviet repression, the Putin era was a reversal of fortunes for Russian people, particularly for Bod. But Russia's Ukraine war reveals the moral catastrophe of this cozy symbiosis between Putin and his Kremlin Hasidim. Zelensky. Putin's rabbis. This comes up, Burel Lazar. Russia's chief rebbe to Putin. We'll do anything for peaceful solutions. That's such a lie. The Russian president shared with the two rabbis that we are categorically against consigning to oblivion crimes of the kind which have no statute of limitations. What does that mean? What is this picture? Why this, have, uh, this must have been during COVID. Lazar quoted from the Talmud. Oh, let's do some more quotes from the Talmud. How many quotes from the Talmud shall we uh, undertake? Yeah. Such BS. Jerry in the house. Soul trip. Some great people in the chat. Thank you guys for being here. Jerry, love you, brother. Jerry and Zora friends and Soul Trip. I hope we're all friends here. Oh, I have um uh I have Albert Bashai coming on uh the show this week and then Adam after. Maybe not this week or next week, but soon. Okay, so Biden is now in Poland after the trip to Ukraine. So did they lie to us? Trump lashes out at potential 2024 20, opponent. Yeah, he, he goes in on a... He goes in on a DeSantis, which... It's... You know who will win? I will make a bold prediction. Whoever wins, the reason why they win will be because they are better for is hell. I'll be right back. Good song. Ooh, Yusef. And I have a remember you. Somebody who can uh, convert to Islam before Islamophobia, but people still had Islamophobia because he lost a lot of followers. Cat Stevens after that. The Infinity QX60. Take on your wild world in style. Introducing Infinity Premium Care, an integrated maintenance program standard with the 2023 QX60. Now at your local Infinity retailer. Trump, Trump once, once again, again lashed out at his potential, potential rival, rival, announcing in a 1 a.m. Truth, truth social rant. Uh, sound familiar? He will no longer call DeSantis, quote, Meatball Ron, a reference to him being Italian, I suppose. Uh, going on to say Jeb Bush is his hero, his beaches and state were closed for long periods of time. Is testing, testing for the China, China virus, this is in Trump's Trump words, didn't work out too well, and his loyalty skills are weak. Joining us now to unpack that, if that's even possible, um, is former Trump administration official Gavin Smith and our old friend CNN political analyst Paul Begala. Uh, Paul, um, I, I, you know, reading the truth socials I just sort of feels like, you know, I, I don't even want to read the tweets anymore. I, and, and I guess he isn't tweeting these days, but. Help us unpack what's going on between Trump and Ron DeSantis. It does indicate that he is worried about uh, the governor from Florida. I mean, there's just no other way around it, right? 
Yeah, it sounds like it. Um, I, I heard your comment about President Carter, and we're all thinking and praying for the Carter family. And one of my old friends in Georgia, Zell Miller, always used to say, a hit dog will holler. I mean, he, he, Mr. Trump is barking because he's hit. He's worried. He's scared of Governor DeSantis. Hit dog will holler. Maybe he should maybe shouldn't. I actually think Trump is the betting favorite, but that's not really my party. But he's clearly bot Snorkelbot in the chat. All right. Yeah, Snorkelblot did a great video you last night. You can help the survivors of the earthquake in Turkey and Syria. Oh, yeah? The earthquake in Syria? Let us talk about um, Israel bombs Syria after the earthquake. Mother. Israel missiles strike building in central Damascus five dead one day ago. After this fucking earthquake, our greatest fucking ally, mother loving airstrike bombs them. Holy shit, our tax paying dollars just contributed to that. Did we pay taxes this year? If we did, we just contributed to the bombing of fucking innocent children after they got hit by a fucking earthquake. Holy shit. If I post that on my Facebook, I'd get fucking banned. I'm already been fucking banned. More than a dozen. Oh, I thought it was just five. 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 Who oh, no, it's actually over a fucking dozen. Closer to 15. And the reason that they say five is all occult fucking shit anyways. Fucking fuck. Yeah, why I bring up Habad and their relationship with the Kremlin and Putin... Because they have the same relationship with Zelensky and Ukraine. And they both contribute to the downfall of Edom, of Esau, of America. White people. Eastern Europeans. Western. European. It's all fucking Europeans. Less Eastern Europeans, but whitey. What's it, what does uh, John Stewart say about getting whitey? Uh, uh, news flash alert, alert. Real name, not fucking John Stewart. Somebody who's lying to us about his fucking name. Okay, okay, so, so more, more from, from Hollywood, Hollywood because, because all, all it does, does is choke, choke out. out. Dave Rubin? Let's look up Dave fucking Rubin. He was a progressive. Part of the Young Turks. Ruben was born in Brooklyn. He grew up in a yayish household on Long Island. Both sides of it. So that's who's going to be the person who's going to be criticizing Yehodve, not real last name, Stewart, another one of them. Holy shit. That's how they control the opposition. I don't even want to listen to it, but we will. Propaganda. propaganda. So you, you guys, guys remember John Stewart. John Stewart, John Stewart was, was the host. host. Yeah, propaganda. You. Propaganda. You are part of the, the pro fucking daily show for, for about, about 20, 20 years. years. Uh, 18, 18, 19, 19 20, 20 years, something, years, something like, like that. that. Uh, little, little known fact, some of you may know this. I actually interned at The Daily Show in 19... Oh, you mean you guys give each other fucking jobs that you're not qualified for within your own fucking network? What a fucking surprise.
I'm sorry. Jerry. I know I'm going. Sorry, Soul Trip. I'm, a little, I'm going in. Nikki Haley is running out too, yeah. Oh, the dual audios on the on the video. Okay, thank you. Can you still hear it though? Hopefully, hopefully you can. It makes it more dramatic. Hopefully, ninety nine. Uh, when, when John, John Stewart, Stewart had, had just, just taken, taken over. over, you may remember that Craig Kilborn, who was a former ESPN anchor, a guy I really loved in college, uh, he was the first host of the uh, the Daily Show, and then John took over. It was a very weird time to be there because there was a lot of turnover. They were firing a lot of people. Their senses of humor were different, so there was a lot of churn there. But it was a it was a formative experience. I was doing stand up night. I was interning there during the day. I was working at electron. Oh, so this guy's funny, sometimes. Taking over the, the comedic stand-up stage. Why? Here's my Jerry Seinfeld. And they keep on r running Jerry Seinfeld on the TV 24-7. To make us acclimated to their humor. Why? All of this complaining. Victim mentality. Fucking non-funniness. You actually take a step back and like, oh, that's not funny. If I'm just looking to escape from my own reality... And looking for it to be a victim, then that's funny. But if you look at the reality of it, it's not funny at all. Jerry Seinfeld is not funny. He just complains. He's a fucking genta. Phonics Boutique, which you now know as GameStop. Uh, in my free time, so I could have a little little money, eat some food, eat a lot of time. Rabbi, get to the fucking point of it. They fucking pill pull, and they fucking bring you through a long ass story with nothing to fucking say to rock us to sleep. Mother. Tuna back to try to die of mercury overdose because that's all I could afford. In any event, over the 20 years that John Stewart hosted, that's all that your Israeli fucking Mossad fucking CIA fucking shill agents can fucking pay you? And why you're promoted as a first fucking research? And, oh, they say that they're so banned. They're so blacklisted. But they're on the top of every fucking search. Just like this fucking the, uh, the crypto. You know, there was a Looks idea. white. This is where young people Look at this guy. And it's, that's what everyone kept saying. This is where young people... They, that's how... They, I don't want to say they, go under the radar. Because on the surface, this looks like just a normal white person. But what they're told from day one is that you are, that with their parents, especially their mother and their father, say you might look like them, but you are not one of them. It's the whole deception of putting the hair of a lamb or goat on your arm and passing it off for Esau and stealing the blessing it's fucking biblical deception look at their news and it was a, a culturally important show right and then you know and he was sort of a good uh, basically a good liberal like sort of it was before wokeism really uh he completely went in on trump derangement syndrome and then he dipped out uh as trump had his four years so kind of went away for a while now he's back apparently with a show on apple don't ever wear a blazer without the top two buttons buttoned i feel like that was the pass to get you onto epstein island full tv and he's gone full woke he's gone full woke he's where jim carrey was on and just recently jim carrey might um have a lawsuit against whoever let out the list of the um the 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 uh stayers the uh adherents the um the visitors of Epstein Island because he says that he is not getting him any work anymore fucking perv fucking Ace Ventura, fucking Jim Carrey, Jim Carrey, who makes weird video to young 
actress. Look at this. Till Emma Stone. The thing that's different about a Virgo vacation home? Tell me this guy is fucking. And this was somebody who I looked up to as like a comedic person before I was hip to fucking reality. Jim Carrey's taken dating to a whole new level with his video post to Emma Stone. Forget when Harry met Sally, this is when Carrie went scary. Emma, I just wanted to let you know that I think you're all the way beautiful. Not just pretty, but smart, kind of. This is so fucking creepy that it, I don't like even playing it. Hard. And if I were a lot younger, I would marry you. I would marry you. And if I were, not just pretty, but. Oh, this is, this is Mr. Woke Jim Carrey. You know what? Um, I want to preface this by saying, I like to say I'm woke and shit. And sometimes I still reach out to girls and uh, ask them for uh, a naked picture. That's not so woke. <laughs> Maybe I need to stop doing that. That was pretty weak. But in his, not to defend him, but just... To be a little bit more humanistic, like, okay. Have you asked for a girl? Uh, a picture with her? Uh, I mean, this is a picture of her. But this is... This is different, I think. I mean, just... I am a Scorpio, so I'm... I could, I could sense out vibes. And just the vibe of it is just... And we shouldn't hold these people up to be some fucking idols. But, just look at this. I think you're all the way beautiful. Not just pretty, but... All the way beautiful. Smart. Kind of hard. And if I were a lot younger... Weird! I would marry you. Chubby little freckle face kids. Well, you and I, Jim Carrey, are fucking manorexic, so how would you have chubby kids? Because so is she. Um, freckles, you don't have any fucking freckles. Camping, camping just perhaps get away from your fucking scary ass. That is fucking. I don't even want to play this all the way through there. How much longer is this? I have lines on my face, sometimes a little gray in my beard. It takes me a lot longer to pee than it used to. It's the only discernible sign of age I think you so far. Uh, how about how about your mental fucking acuity you fucking psycho fucking path you don't think somebody like this could be on Jeffrey Epstein Island fucking doing some fucking dirt mm. anyway See it, his bottom lip shiver like that? What the fuck? Let's just look at Jim fucking Carrey on Epstein list. I bet you it might not even show up because that's how well. 
They don't want you to know. I used to pay $178 a month. Dude, that's fucking horrible, bro. Not only are you ugly, but this probably comes as no surprise to most of you based just on the type of videos that I've been putting out there lately. But it might surprise you from whom the lawsuit is coming, which is Jim Carrey, of all people. Yes, Jim Carrey. So this is pertains to the Jeffrey Epstein flight log video that I did that got, uh, I don't know, like almost 3 million views, right? So in this video, I'm actually, I didn't make the video. This is a video that was made by someone else. And I shared this video and commented on this video. So he's apologizing. He was mentioned as being on the flight logs to have traveled with Jeffrey Epstein. And so I shared it, you know. Is it true? I don't know. Probably. Is it not true? Maybe. I don't know. There's sources that say it's true. There's other sources that say it's not true. And anyway, so then I get this cease and desist today from Jack away, Al Stain, Tyler Man, Weatherman, Yang Soma, long a bunch of attorney offices. It says strictly confidential, not for publication or posting. So what do I do? The first thing I do is publish it, of course. Listen, you should not send somebody a cease and desist if you don't want it to be public. You shouldn't do something and then be ashamed of it, right? You're gonna sue somebody if you're gonna do something that's gonna be public, then you have to want to do it bad enough that you're okay with everybody knowing about it. So, so I'm posting it. it. And so anyway, it says red. Jim Carrey slash Vincent Biathara, Epstein Island flight log video. It's a desist. Basically, it says that all this stuff is categorically false and it has prevented Jim from being able to get new jobs and it's oh, harmed. He, he got career. 7 million. He's not doing nothing lately. Like he's probably relaxing, right? And then I have 48 hours Who is to take it down. Or Mr. Carey is going to pursue legal action. He's going to sue my butt off. Well, didn't say butt off. But he's going to seek, you know, the max damages allowed by law and really tear my ass apart. Well, <laughs> not tear my ass apart. That part's not anything. But anyway, you know, in addition, you know, the video is false, unprivileged statements, misinformation, not a really long cease and desist. And I've been hit with my share seeing these. You know, page and a half. Here's the thing. Like, what links... Is Jim, of all people, going to erase the presence of this video from the internet, to scrub it? This is what surprised me, because like there's a lot of names in that video. And I'm not the creator of the video. So of all people to come after, like if you repost that Epstein video, you might get a CND. You might get sued by Jim Carrey. He is really trying to do his best to eradicate that video from the internet so that there's no trace of it. And that, it just seems iffy to me. Like, why do you care? So many names were on that list in that video. None of them Will care. Smith. None of them care. And the fact that they, they don't care honestly makes them seem a little less guilty. It does, kind of. It's when you freak out about it. Yeah. That makes it seem weird. You know, it's, it, I don't know. Maybe that's just me. But it's like when you talk that's not just you. you freak out about something, they overreact to a certain question. Then you're like, what are you doing? They become yeah. defensive then it's kind of a red flag, right? And this is kind of how this feels. But I get it. I mean, and that's another thing. Like, he's not even extremely relevant right now. Jim, I love you. I do, but you're not that... All right. Old. Charge your phone 40% faster with this new... All right, my friends. I know. I'm just running. I mean, one of the main things I wouldn't say in this chat is how the... um The... The... The, the Habad Lubavitch... Revies, the or this occult, dark occult, dark Illuminatus, um, they who hate the Gentile, who is white Europeaners, are in charge of Putin and Zelensky of sacrificing many of us. I mean, I say us, I speak for black people. Hispanics, any anybody, we're, we're we're getting this is a real life human sacrifice, just like all the world wars. Who were they started by? Oh, they started all the world. No, but just look at this one in particular, and look who raised Putin. Look who Zelensky is a part of. 
and look who is suffering. Is Zelensky? Is life in danger? Zelensky just bought his parents a fucking four million dollar fucking house. Is this war? The war machine is getting paid. The military industrial complex is getting fucking paid. And you know who's fucking losing? White fucking people. And I'm not a fucking racist white supremacist, but I fucking see it. And my best black friends fucking see it. Now I'm signing out.